microphone. This is for Alo. You had two Memphis girls on the other side of the floor tonight. Do you kind of take that challenge personally when you see two guys from your city on the other side of the court? Most definitely. Uh, you know, a lot of guys that's not from Memphis won't understand, but uh, no matter where you go to play against a guy from your city, uh, the game will, you know, you know, that's what people talk about 10, 15, 20 years from now. So it's more about uh, it's a pride thing uh, as a Memphis guy, keeping your reputation nice. Uh, you know, we cool off the court, but on the court, uh, it's all about keeping your name alive and like just taking care of your business no matter what. Oh, this question is for Boogie, man. You took a, a tough fall out there tonight, man. Uh, it was kind of a tense moment, man, but you hopped right up, man. How you feeling? Uh, I was just happy that it wasn't, it wasn't worse. So I, I, I had to run it off there really bad. It's probably the most pain I've ever felt on the court. But I, I'm, I'm gonna be straight. And this question for Alex. Uh, you guys got off to a slow start. Uh, what can you attribute the slow start to? Was it something they were doing, or was it something you guys were doing? Um, I think we started off twelve two, and uh, like coach said, uh, once we once we saw that we had a nice lead, some guys kind of got complacent and felt like, okay, it's just my time to score. And uh, anything, any type of problem, it's never cut the other team. It's always an internal thing. Uh, you know, we're a young team. Uh, we're still learning, so. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of glad it happened so we know what not to do again. Uh, it wasn't anything that they did. It was uh, all internal. This is for either of you. How do you remember this game? you remember it as an ugly win, a great defensive performance? Uh, how do you remember this game? Uh, this game was most definitely a, it was a terrible game for us uh, from the physical aspect. Uh, we, we let, what, two guys get, like, double-digit offensive rebound. So uh, we got to – we got to – yeah, just got to toughen up. Guards, bigs, uh, we got to do a better job of working together, boxing out, and not letting one guy control the glass. So we don't look at this as a good game at all. This was a bad game for us, and uh, we just got to get tougher. Hey, Bill, you playing uh, UAB this weekend. You know you know nothing about UAB. They hate Memphis, and Memphis always seems to play down at them, but UAB plays up at them. What do you know about UAB coming up? Uh, we haven't really got the scouting report, but you know we're, we're going to be prepared and do it, what it takes to get ready for UAB, and uh, we, we we believe we can change that next game. You guys went real small for a little bit in today's game. You guys with Damian and Tyler on the floor as well. What what was the what did, what did Coach kind of tell you guys about <coughs> about that and uh, why you went that way? Uh, he wanted to get scrappy do what we do, drive and kick, and we've been working on a lot of, if your man comes over, you hit the kicker, and we had a lot of shooters on the floor at that time, so that's why he did that. Hey, little career high for you tonight. Um, did you feel like with no James, obviously no Lester, that, you know, you're kind of like, you're one of the more experienced guys on the team. Did you feel like you had to kind of take it on yourself to step in and sort of be that production? Uh, I mean, I, I take it as myself. As we know for a fact that we got guys out, but, I just want to do whatever it takes uh, in the game to win. You know, the less that my teammates do, I try to pick up from things that they don't do. And uh, the more they do, you know, the less that I have to do. So it's nothing uh, that I feel like I have to do. I just play the game the way it comes. And like when things are going bad, I try to try my best to make the best play, best play possible for the team. Yeah, first one for Alo, uh, you got your dog Malcolm back out there. Uh, how is that, even though he's uh, easing back into it? How happy were you for that? Man, Malcolm was plus 14 today in, in 12 minutes. Uh, you know, I'm real happy that he's back. Uh, he was a positive <coughs> impact. You know, he got four rebounds. Uh, this is his first time playing college basketball. You know, he don't know what to expect. And uh, I feel like he's doing a great job so far. Uh, his ceiling is very high. Uh, he's doing a good job. And, like, I can't wait to throw him a couple lobs. Uh, it's coming soon. When he get in shape and be ready, a couple lobs coming soon. I like his game, man. Boogie, you uh, struggled or in a slump early in shooting, and now you seem the shots are falling. What do you uh, attribute that to? Uh, you know, no matter what what's going on, uh, how I'm playing, I'm always in the gym, and I'm always going to work hard, and I, I, I truly love basketball, so I'm always in the gym working on my craft, trying to get better every day. So, you know, when slumps like that come, you know, you, you really just got to find yourself and remember who you are, you know. I'm a kind of guy that got it out the mud and worked for, for, for what I got. So, you know, I'm going to always be confident in my shooting and just continue to work hard and believe in myself. And, you know, my teammates really did a good job 
you know, believing in me, telling me to keep shooting. You know, Alo, Tyler, they always got my back, talking about keep shooting the ball. So it, it, it was really my teammates too. And looking at your guys offensively, now obviously not a great game, but defensively, you absolutely locked down their big names. Daryl Brown kept him off the board pretty much until late in the second half and locked down their other big guard. Um, what went into that? Uh, you know, like we, we did a great job of, of scouting their team. Uh, we knew that we knew the guys who can score. Uh, we know Daryl got like 1,500 points there. So uh, Coach just challenged the guards to take it personal. Uh, but the, the crazy thing, he had a lot of good shots. He just he just missed them. But you know, we still uh, just was focusing on him, not trying to let him get his average. And uh, we did a good job. Uh, he was one for one for 16. So I feel like we did a, a great job uh, to leave somebody who like one of the leading scores there, to one for 16. So. We did a great job of just focusing on that and uh, just taking the matchup personally. Ayla, what you've been able to do this year after kind of the ups and downs you went through last year, like how are you? How rewarding is all this feel that you're? That it's all seems to be coming together for you at the college level now. Um, I mean, like like I was always saying, it's you know just a mental thing. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm back to myself. Uh, comfortable uh, doing, trying to do my best to lead, lead this team and uh, it just feels great to know that everything that I'm giving I'm giving it my all uh, I stayed true to myself and like never changed anything about about me I just gave myself a little more confidence and uh, just just play my game night in and night out so it just it just feels great to know that sticking down with what I did is helping me out now Alex you mentioned that you thought that this was a terrible game um, you still get the win anyway uh, do, do you when you say terrible game, do you, do you see this as, as maybe the type of game that you're probably not going to have again this season where you shoot in the low 30s and and it seems like everybody was kind of missing on the same night? Uh, you know, basketball, it's, it's ups and downs. Uh, we, we can't determine uh, if we're going to make shots and not make them. Uh, you know, we got a lot of great shooters. Some nights they off, but we wasn't, I wasn't talking about the shooting part. Uh, the percentages, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Uh, what I was meant by that, we just gave up a lot of offensive rebounds and the toughness. We can control that, and uh, once we start doing that, no matter what we're shooting from the percentage, uh, we limit them from getting offensive rebounds and scoring. So as long as they're not scoring, we're gonna find a way to put the ball in the goal. We just gotta limit them to one shot. We got time for two more. Boogie, uh, Penny said that uh, a lot of people have said over the last week or so that you're like a, one of the hardest workers on the team and all that stuff. But Penny said the other day that he had to. Somebody had to force you to, to stop going into the gym as much and made you take a couple of days off. Yeah. Is that kind of how it went down? Uh, yeah, you know, that's been a thing with me the, uh, my whole entire life. People like try to kick me out the gym. It's kind of annoying, but I got to listen to them because, you know, at the same time, you got to take care of your body. And, yeah, that, that's true. I'm always in the gym, always trying to get better. You know, when I, I feel like when I'm off the court and I'm not working hard that somebody else is. So... You know, I've been doing that my whole life. So just listening and, and realizing that you also have to take care of your body. Last question. Hey, Boogie, you know, you're, you're, this team is guard-oriented deep. You know, you do a lot of rotation in and out. And sometimes you tend to wear the other team down. Can you actually see when the team's getting worn down? And then when you do, do you get even more aggressive when you see them worn down? Yeah, you know, I like having playing with Alo, Tyler, when Lester's here. You know, we got great guards, you know, so all, all of our guards, that we're coming at you, so you're not getting a break. So it's it's real intensity, and I I feel that people wear down easy. All right, thank you.